Yes. Ooh, forward march and bam bam, Toots and the Matos and Derek Morgan, produced by Leslie Kong, Beverly's Records, for that forward march. You know, God, um, and to the listeners, as we, as we rejoin after um, having had Garfield on for the last hour, we decided, you know, this is too topical to for us gears. to, to um, have, have gone and switch gears to what we had planned as a program. Um, we are at a little bit of a, 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 a touch point here as far as the Jamaica 60 um, celebrations are concerned. Um, and, you know, as youngsters in the media business from our end and especially a group, our group that is concerned with highlighting the music from a historical and a cultural and a awareness standpoint, we would not have done justice to the topic to have just left it like that. Um, for, for those who have been asleep or under a rock somewhere, um, it, we, we just want to use the opportunity to remind you that this past week, the, the Honorable Minister of Culture, and we're only going to focus on the culture part of the, pers the, the portfolio, announced in Parliament that there won't be a festival song contest um, or a festival co song competition this year. Um, again, and that decision came against a background as she announced again in Parliament that um, her, they, they had em empaneled a, a five-member team of experts to um, look at the entries that were submitted and of 123 entries um, they only found one, one song. Mm. They then came back after much prodding and thing to say that they identified an additional mm. two songs which they felt um, would to, to some degree meet the criteria. There's one yeah. song that they, they, they were comfortable with and then they found Two additional ones. Now, um, we 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 as fielders in the in the, the the media industry, we have a role. You know, we, we're not we're not here to to, to chastise or to criticize anybody, um, but we feel that we would not do our role proper service if we we have nothing to say on the issue. Jamaica, first of all, has the distinct, distinguished reputation of having contributed some eight genres of music to the world over the last 60 odd, let, let's round it down to 70 years, because Mento would have been in the, in the, in the late the 1950s, um, well, 40s actually, late 40s, 50s, and, and then we got into you know, some other subgenres, and then we got to ska and, and so on. And the genres, just for those who, who, who are not aware, we, we talk about dukunu music, which is really folk music um, prior to the getting to, to, to the mentor. Recorded and the recorded. Right. Mm. And then we got to, to um, um, Naya Bingi music. We featured a lot of Naya Bingi music in, in a program recently. Um, and then the Naya Bingi um, genre gave way to ska. Uh, we the, the 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 music that you played earlier got with Bam 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 Bam. Although we recognize it as a festival song, Bam Bam is actually a Naya Bingi tune, right? It's a sound like a gospel too, because yeah. if you listen to well, it, it, the, it, the vocal stylings. That well, the stylings is is because Toots always sang as a as and because that, that was his church influence and so it came over in almost every song that he produced but if you listen to the drum patterns the drum like pattern naya bingi naya bingi drumming and and then you 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 know you, we we go prior to that the, the, the song we played earlier which really wasn't Forward classified like a as shuffle. a festival r and b so, yeah it 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 wasn't ska it was blues shuffle it was a combination of everything blues ska shuffle everything but that was derek morgan's forward march and it was a it was a it was a clarion call that song for me as a man who coming into the um you know developing an interest in music it was a clarion call on the part of the singer to say um we are independent and you know it's, it's worth shouting it from the rafters forward together right um as as the song say at the outset forward march and so this whole concept of 
festival and celebration is a call to all Jamaicans to join together. And, and again, my boy said it in the song, you know, we, co we come together because we're independent. And we're celebrating 60 years of independence. It's, 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 a, it's a significant achievement for our country, and we believe that um, considering the value of the music, we want to look at how that music, how we have interpreted the, 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 the clarion call made by, by Derek Morgan in 1962 from his, 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 his song, which we ad adopted as a sort of an independent song. It wasn't a, because festival started in, in, what was it, 65? 66. Um, 66, right. And um, this was uh, the, the Bam Bam won in, in 66. That was the entry. Now, just to give a background, the whole festival movement came into play because after independence, between 62 and 65, there was clear evidence that the people had become disillusioned, uh, that the, 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 the kind of prosperity and economic prosperity that was promised, the average man wasn't seeing that. Um, it didn't help that in 63, 64, you had this elevation of um, strife against Rastafarians. And of course, you had the Coral Gardens incident in 1963. And around the, 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 the sentiments that were brewing at that time would subsequently lead um, b within two to three years to the Rodney riots of 1966. So um, the, the festival thing was then determined, established to sort of draw Jamaicans out of this malaise and to give them something. Um, you may, we may call it political is a distraction, but it was designed to sort of throw, um, to, to shift people's focus and to, you know, say, hey, we have all leave to celebrate. Yeah, and, and develop so on, a certain so amount of patriotism and, 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 and raise the morale of the people. It, it, absolutely. That's the word I'm searching for. Uh, it, it was an opportunity. It was an attempt at raising morale. Um, did it succeed? Hmm. I, I, to, a, to a certain extent, yes, because it, it, what it did by, um, and, and, and of course, again, the concept of festival, um, d that was not something that was new to the country. The, 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 there was always a, Some a, kind of um, celebration. a festival of arts and, 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 and culture that was in place in Jamaica um, prior to, to independence. And, and so the, these celebrations were were always there but what instead of having a music festival festival you usually have what is called a mentor music festival like a mentor at that time was the was the central music out of jamaica and i said that god because while my cook was on us on the program with us earlier you made reference to to the um to the mentor music and the influence of of mentor that you heard coming out of some of the entries that he had in his thing Fast forward to 2022, and we have 123 people, Jamaicans, from different walks of life, who have gone out and they put their entries together. Um, and then, as a country, we turn to them and say, your work is not good enough. That we want a lot of the music I saw in the papers this morning, where one of the... the, the, the um, the persons who was uh, up, uh, assigned as a judge were saying that, you know, the, too much of the music talking about mango and banana and seawater and cocoa tea and all kind of thing and Jamaica food and all kind of thing and this mentor mentor rhythm. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, I remember one, I was on this um, call yesterday where we were at this press conference and one of the, the, the same judges talked about wanting to move the music um, away from that. And so it begged, it begged the question for me as to, was this conveyed to the entrance? Eh? Hmm. Because you tell me, God, as a man, you're playing music for more than a couple of decades now. And, you know, you agree that Jamaica has contributed so much music. Are we to believe that a hundred and odd Jamaicans could have put some lyrics together and we can't find ten tune that 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 we can say 
we're going to have a contest with it. Give me your feedback. Eh? <laughs> it, it, it's kind of hard pressed to, to, <laughs> to, to think that. Magic laugh. But no, that, tell the truth. If you think about artistry and excellence and what is available right now in terms of production, it is kind of difficult to think that. For what is now passing off as popular music in terms of dancehall and that kind of thing that we couldn't find anything which means that there must have been a breakdown in communication to the artists as to what was required hi there if you enjoy that clip go on over to our website at yardmedia.com where you can watch the entire broadcast at your leisure and while you're there why don't you check out our other reggae music features and before you leave, pick up some of our Jamaican reggae merchandise and hey, don't forget to tell your friends. My name is Garth, otherwise known as Big G. My name is Richie Blackford.